So I often think about what the future of photography is. Like, really, what is the future? Where does this go? And I'm not talking about in the next few years. I'm talking about maybe in the next 10. And one thing that kind of comes back over and over for me is that I'm watching movies. And even though I can tell I can't watch Marvel movies and all that because I cannot stand the CGI because it just looks fake to me. And my eye picks up on that. So it, it, does, it no longer can suspend any disbelief. But... I bring that up only because, although I still think it's bad, it's getting better and better and better. And there is going to be a point where CGI is indistinguishable from reality. Now, when you can do that, combined with, you know, the human desire that we currently have for the idealized image, the idealized image being like images that are just perfect, um, the, you know, it's fantasy. Like if you go on Instagram, everything's controlled perfect, perfect, immaculate composition, immaculate light, immaculate model, immaculate makeup. Everything's perfect, right? But what happens when you can do that in a computer? Think about it. What happens when you can more successfully illustrate a vision in, with computer graphics and by taking it? And yeah, some people are going to be like, well, it's not the same as capturing a moment. And I'm not saying it is. But for photography that amounts to pretty much illustration, empty, soulless images that have no meaning, I think it's pretty similar. And so here's what I actually think is going to happen. And it's happening for me now, but I think it may become a greater trend. And there actually is a bit of a trend. It is beginning. I think people are going to return to shooting film because they're going to no longer think a photograph they're going to separate a photograph from an image. And what do I mean by that? There's no doubt. I mean, you can call a digital image a photograph. I know it's technically a photograph. In my head, the way I view it, I don't think of it as a photograph. I think of it as an image. But when you can create those perfect images, people are going to start rethinking what an, an image actually has to look like. So why would you want to take perfectly clean, crisp, super sharp images when you can CGI it better? That's what I think. So this is why I've returned to film. I've returned to film because I don't want that super clean, idealized image. And it's funny, I've gone full circle because when I started out with film, I could not afford a medium format camera. I once in a while got to shoot with the 4x5, but I used to complain about the low quality of most 35 millimeter color images I was producing. I, I just didn't care for the quality specifically when I blew it up. So it didn't have the resolution I wanted. And what was a fault at the time, not being able to see your image right away, eventually became a strength. That's what I love about film is you shoot it. I'm sorry, I typically know what the image is going to look like, but there's still that element of surprise, you know, seeing it when it shows up for the first time, when it's, you get your negatives back if you send them out or if you do it yourself. There's nothing like that. So I've struggled with what an image should look like for the last 10 years. So I used to think, okay, digital superior, at least it's overtaken film in a technical sense, right? Um, I always complained about filtered photography. I never liked it because I always thought, okay, that's not a photograph. A photograph should look clean and simple. So I never did much editing to my work. So now I'm at odds with that idea of you shouldn't do much to a digital image to now questioning, well, what exactly is a photograph? I mean, what is a photograph and why does a photograph have to look real? Because eventually we can make real with a computer. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I hope it's not too heady of an argument, but I guess I'll sum it up with this. I'm just talking at this point. <laughs> I'm just talking. I, I'm, I'm just talking. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, I'll end with this. And I literally had no idea what, what I was going to say. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, where is photography going or image making going? Is there going to be a return to film? Do you guys think we're seeing it now? Because statistically, yeah, we are seeing a, a revival of film. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you guys want more film content, more philosophy, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, ending audio.